Hey there, YouTube. Couch Pot Calvin here. Um, getting ready for week one of season six of the Couch Pilot uh, Pokemon Draft League. We are doing BGC this year. Uh, my first match is against Gavin and the. I want to say he's the T Town uh, Corviknights. Yeah, T-Town Corviknights. Um, I don't have his team up on my screen that I'm predicting because I've been kind of busy this week. Uh, we're getting ready to go on vacation, uh, which is why we're doing the match today instead of the weekend. Um, luckily, Gavin was able to accommodate for me, which is awesome. And... Uh, And, uh, yeah, hopefully we can do this. Um, Gavin said he's uh, throwing some items on his mons and then searching. So, real quick, I'll go over the uh, team I am planning on using. I am going, instead of running a sand team, I'm running a trick room team. Um, here's my team. I have Amoongus uh, with Clear Smog Spore, Protect, and Rage Powder. Uh, typical Amoongus build. Bronzong with Trick Room, Body Press, Iron Defense, and Bulldoze. Holding leftovers. And here's the tricky thing. I'm running a Hustle Dracosult with zero speed. Um, no good speed and a weakness policy. So turn one, I plan on protecting. Uh, I might max guard if I feel like he's going to Dynamax. And Iron er, and Trick Room with Bronzong. And then hopefully get a bulldoze off turn two, bronze on being the slowest, and activating my weakness policy and uh, just smacking Gavin super hard. I'm probably gonna lead have Lapras in the back. I'm bringing Parish Song, so my goal is to get at least two KOs with Dracozolt, bring in Lapras, Parish Song, and then just stall out for three turns until Parish Song does its thing. I'm bringing Hippowdon. I don't plan on using him. Um, because I will normally this season be running a uh, Sand Rush Drake's Assault, but I'm bringing Hippowdon just to make it look like I'm still bringing that. Um, but yeah, like I said, I don't plan on actually bringing him. Um, I think I'm going to bring Bronzong, Amoongus, and Lapras term or game one. Uh, yeah. It's working so far for you, uh, Trevor. It, I uh, I uh, got a new like Wi-Fi system. I'm using a mesh system now, and it has Ethernet in the back. So I have a, one of the mesh modems up in my room, or where I'm a computer. And uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, have it straight into my computer. Uh, how's it sound for you, Trevor? Do I sound alright? Volume to my game and stuff. Um. Just waiting on Gavin at this point. There he is, alright. I did bring a G-Max to Lapras too. In case I my trick room setup doesn't work, I'm probably going to run, you know, G-Max Residence with uh, Lapras. Uh, we want to do tower rules, right? Four Pokemon, up to 40 specialized Pokemon allowed. Same Pokemon not allowed, same items not allowed. Yep. We're going to use the Trick Team. And let the battle begin. Let's see, yep. Uh, Titar I was expecting, Northern I was expecting, Raichu, yep. This is pretty much the team exactly that I was expecting. Um, like I said, Lapras in the back, and I think I'm gonna bring a Moongus.
I don't think he's going to predict the trick room. Uh, and I don't think he... I don't think he'll max turn one. I don't think Gavin's the one to really max turn one. I guess his Dragonite last VGC season, he maxed a lot turn one, but... Uh, and if you guys uh, watched the draft league or the draft video and wondering why I have a bronze on, I did a free agent trade. I dropped uh, Del Mize and I picked up bronze on. Um, really wanted a steel type because I had a pretty bad ice weakness uh, throughout my team. Um, and uh, also a. What else did I? Dragon, I had a dragon weakness on two of my mons, and a flying weakness or ground weakness, and he has levitate. So I'm running levitate and stuff. He proof because I have earthquake on my Drakazol. All right, speed demon and Litten daddy. Interesting, interesting. Alright, so I think I'm going to Trick Room here. I think he is expecting me to set up the sand for myself. And I think I'm going to max guard. Just in case it Dynamaxes. I really don't need two turns of Dynamax with this team. Alright, so he didn't Dynamax, because I'm definitely faster than his whole team, or slower than his team. Unless he's running a new speed, uh, Stoutlet, which, actually, uh, Dregzolt's naturally slower than Stoutlet, so, even if he's a new speed, I should be slower. Max Guard, I'm feeling like he's gonna double into it. Oh no, he taunted me! That is not good. Alright, so he has Ice Fang on his Stoutlet. I'm going to Body Press into Stoutlet, and I'm going to Max Lightning into Speed Demon. I think... I don't think he doubles into Drake's ult here. I forgot Northern learned Taunt. That is really troublesome right there for me. Yeah, this Ice Fang's gonna take me out. Unless he didn't double into me. Yeah, he doubles into me. That's gonna take me out. Dang it! Oh, yeah. Alright, so. Right there, I'm gonna tell you, I lost uh, game mode. I don't think there's any coming back from that. I mean, I guess. So he's running Life Orb on his Scotland. I guess I can still nest. I can still win. Um, if I run. Body press again into Stoutlet and. Um, I'm going to protect here, actually. Because I think he's going to I or Thunderfang or something into Lapras with Stoutlet. So he swaggers in a wild charge. Yeah, okay, so that was a good. Uh, prediction to protect there he still has his Dynamax with his kind of worrisome Mighty Mouse so that's going to be the 
Raichu. I think I'm going to body press into the Raichu and I'm going to switch into a Moongus here. Expecting like a Thunderbolt or something. That kind of sucks. Um, freaking taunt. So he fakes out into the Lapras spot and he taunts into Bronzong again, which is fine. See how much damage this does. It does it almost. Hey, it does a little over half. I think I'm gonna body press again, and I think he's gonna taunt into the a move spot. So we're gonna protect, or he's gonna do a fly move of some sort. Uh, my Bronzong's max defense, and then I split up my special defense and HP EVs. So that's a big, that was a big turn right there. Um, his Noivern is going to be stuck at minus two at this point. Uh, as long as I don't clear smog it. And he's going to go into... Uh, T-Tar. I want to switch into Lapras here, I think. And I want to... Try to get Spore off on the T-Tar. I want to get a Parasol. Uh, I don't want to activate Weakness Policy on that T-Tar. I don't think I necessarily need to uh, Parasong. I think I might be able to pull off the win without the Parasong. But... He's definitely, I feel like he Dynamaxes here. He doesn't, he's not Dynamaxing yet. I guess there's a switch happening before the Dynamax, I believe. I guess I could have body pressed and clear smogged. And got rid of the boost from the body press. Swaggers into a moon gift. Confuses me. Max darkness into Lapras. I think we live this. Yeah. Hopefully I get the spore off. I think if I get the spore off I win. So I do get the spore off. I'm gonna rage powder here and parasong. He might taunt. As long as the Titar stays asleep, I don't think the Noivern really has anything to hit my Lapras with, especially at negative two. It's safety goggles, Noivorn 2, which is really good to know. That means I can't spore him. Um, I guess that means he can't fall through Rage Powder either. Hopefully he doesn't top my lap this. That'd be super annoying. I snap out Confusion. That's great. You get Rage Powder off. Noivorn goes for taunt. Into Amoongus. Alright, sweet. I'm fine with that. You can taunt the Amoongus. T-Tar stays asleep. I get Parasong off. 
and that should be game one. Um, I'm going to switch out a Moongus because he's taunted here, and I'm going to protect with Lapras. Negative two uh, breaker meter in the brown zone. It's not gonna do much. And T Tar wakes up, and Max Rock falls into a Lapras with a protect up. Does pretty big damage, but we're gonna swap her out. And at this point, he's on a timer. I'm gonna iron defense, I think. So he dragon dances, which is fine. And I think at this point, there's nothing that indicated that my Drake assault was uh, zero speed. Um, and we're just gonna protect the Amoongus here. And uh, with that protect, I think we win. It is nice to learn that his T-Tar is um, Dragon Dance, and he can't stop battle. Alright. Sweet, so we win game one. Do we? Oh yeah, I'll take you the battle card. Sure. Play with the same rules. Select the same team, it's still the trick team. I'm gonna let the battle begin. Uh. Uh. I think I wanna leave Gardevoir this turn. I think we can get Gardevoir, Bronzong, Lapras, and Amoongus in the back. And uh, just say screw the Dracozolt. Um, Cause I think I outspeed uh, the Noivern at this point. I don't think I necessarily need a Dynamax here. And I think I just body press in the Stoutland if he leads Stoutland. And. Dazzling Gleam. Because I think if I go up to take out two, I think I can just do the same thing where I. Uh, perish Song for the end game. If need be, I could Dynamax Lapras in the back.
I didn't calc for Ice Fang. I did calc for Play Rough once down with, um, with the Choice Band. So I do think I live an Ice Fang. Um, from the noise or the stout one on my big soul. Alright, it's so a little different lead here. And I have telepathy. So I think I want to psychic into the game bro. I think we outspeed. I don't think he runs. And we're gonna iron defense turn him. He's probably gonna taunt though, which is gonna be super <laughs> annoying. <laughs> Unless he thinks we're double trick room here. I guess that's a possibility for him to think. Um, we are choice scarfed on the Gardevoir. What's he maxing? Is he maxing the Gengar? That's gonna be. Super unfortunate. I don't know if a psychic takes out the Gengar. Yeah, G Max Gengar. That means I can't escape. Psychic does big damage though. Curse body. That's super annoying because I'm scarfed. Taunt into Bronzong. And GMAX tear it, which means hopefully this takes out Gardevoir. Right? Yeah, okay. I think a GMAX Lapras here. Go for the. Max Resonance. And I, I really only can body press at this point. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to, uh, what's it called? Bulldoze my own Lapras. So he taunts Lapras, I think he was expecting the, uh, what's it called again? Bronzong goes down like a sack of potatoes there. And we get rid of Noivern, which is, I think, pretty important because uh, now he can't top my Moongus. So it's basically Lapras versus the world at this point. Um, luckily his T-Tar can't Dynamax. So a Max Geyser in the rain might be able to take him out. I'm going to Max Geyser into Gengar I think. King Arthur who's that? Corviknight. Yikes. Yikes, 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 yikes. Yeah, so I think I max Geyser into Gengar. And I'm gonna Rage Powder here. Uh, that way he can't do an Iron Head or anything into my Lapras. So he might Brave Bird. I like shiny Gengar when he's Dynamax or Mega, but he's still underwhelming when he's not. Like, they just need to make him wait for his regular shiny.
He draws King Arthur, which is fine. That means we are going to get rid of the sand here. Hopefully we get a KO. G-Max Terra. I... Alright, we take that real well. Whew, I'll take that. I'm gonna get the Max Geyser off, getting rid of the sand, which is... Uh, a lot more important um, because now Titar doesn't get his special defense boost. And I think I want to spore into Titar and Max Geyser into. Uh, Corviknight, um, because it's gonna do, it's gonna be more important to take out Corviknight now, because the Hydro Pump is gonna be super effective against T-Tar, where Brave Bird, we have the Copa Berry, so hopefully we live this to get the Spore off. We do, is that pretty good? We take some recoil damage. Rock slide, which is fine, as long as Amoongus doesn't flinch. We get the max geyser off. And it's not enough to KO, but it's pretty close. And of course, we get flinched. So I could. I think I. Do I perish song? Or do I... I think I just do this and click Rage Powder. Which might be a mistake. I might have wanted to protect there. What's up, uh, JH? Um, currently in game two, we're down... Uh, it's 2v2 right now. Uh, he roost. Oh, man. I should just pair song. Uh, I won the first one. Um, and we're 2v2 right now. Lapras flinched. I think I'm going pair song here. I think if I pair song, I protect because I think he brave birds into the. Moongus. And I think he sticks with his rock slide game. We both Dynamaxed. Um, turn one, my, or er, game one, my trick room didn't work, JH. Um, <laughs> he taunted me. Yeah, so Brave Bird, we predicted the Brave Bird. Yeah, I imagine he rock slides, no crunches into Lapras. We live it. No flinch, we get the Parish Song off. Which I think is pretty big. I think we go for a Protect here. And. I want to score into. Titar. I don't think Amoongus lives. I think he brave words into Amoongus and takes him out. Yeah, brave bird into Amoongus takes him out. Dragon dances, so he predicted to protect. I should have. Rain stopped. So I think game two is gonna go to Gavin. Um, if for so if somehow I live this turn, I win. Um, 
I don't see me living. I think you brave birds. Dang. The crunch is gonna do big damage. Yeah. So that's game one. Or game two. We're one on one. I think this game, I think I lead Bronzong and Amoongus, Drakezolt in the back with, do I want it, Gardevoir? I think I go Lapras in the back. I think Lapras is my best in the back. I want to get Trick Room up. I want to get Trick Room up. I think if I get Trick Room up, I think I might be able to win. Ah, oh, man. So how's your day going, uh, JH? I know you were uh, streaming earlier. How'd that go? He's made his selection. Man, I am so... This is a close match. This has been a close match. I managed to win game one with the Pear Song game. Mighty Mouse and... Titar. Er. Is... Yeah, Fake Out is faster than... Rage Powder. Um, I think I'd Trick Room though, just in case he doesn't fake out, and I Rage Powder. He might do the G Max Terror into Gengar, or into me. So he fakes out Bronzong. I get the Rage Powder off. And the Hypnosis misses. I flinch, but so that turn basically meant nothing because of the leftovers. So we're gonna get the trick room off again and we're gonna rage powder. Or do you think he predicts the rage powder? Uh, yeah, we're gonna rage powder. He withdraws Raichu. Brings out King Arthur. We get the Trick Room off. Hypnosis misses again. And we... So I'm going to switch into Drakezolt here now. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Yeah. I'm gonna go into Drake Soul here and activate my weakness policy in the same turn.
That does big damage into the Gengar. I think... We Earthquake next. Because I think he's going to bring in Raichu. Hypnosis into Dracozol. Oh no. That's not good. That's pretty annoying. So we're going to bring in a Moongus on Bronzong side. And we're going to protect here. Yeah, that hypnosis is big. He missed two in a row, of course he hits the third one. I mean, why wouldn't he? Corgonite's just gonna sit there and bulk up on us now. Shadow Ball into the Bronze Arm spot. Which is cool. Um, I think I spore. Does spore work on steel types? I don't know. I kind of want to look it up, but I don't think I really have time. No, spores does not affect. Or they can't be. S Take out Gengar. I think I want Max Quake. Into the Gengar spot. I can get a spore off on the Corviknight, yeah. So Corviknight's gonna get a bed. Hopefully we wake up. Oh no! Lumberry. And we're still asleep. Brave Bird and uh, Amoongus, which is fine, because we're gonna live it. Oh no! We didn't live it. Oh, because he had two bulk ups. Of course we didn't live it. Why would we? Shadow Ball and Drake Zolt lowers my special defense. Oh, man. What's up, Kenan? Uh, thanks for coming and watching. Uh, not looking too great right now, if I'm totally honest. Uh, well, we are one and one, so this is the third match. If I wake up, that would be cool. Um, that lumberry was kind of big. Wasn't expecting Lumberry on Corviknight, to be honest. Makes sense, though. I know he has Raichu in the back, which is a problem for my... So he withdraws Corviknight, which is cool. So I think he's expecting a Max Lightning. Uh, I get rid of his two bulk ups. And I'm still freaking asleep? I needed to wake up there. Because this is going to hurt my brown zone really bad. How many rooms of trick room do I have left? And none. <laughs> I have no 
turns left for Trick Room. I think I switch out Bronze on here. I don't want him to go down. And I need to take out Gengar. I need to wake up. I need to get this Max Quake off. So my attack is back to normal at this point. Lapras should take this relatively well. Yeah. Dragonzolt finally wakes up. Thank goodness. <laughs> we get the max quake up. I feel like I'm tapping super fast like uh, JH normally does. Um. So I think I max or I protect an earthquake with Drake's ult this turn. Ooh, he still has D Max. <laughs> uh yeah, so we're gonna protect here. And we're going to Earthquake, I think. Might be a mistake, but hopefully we don't activate his weakness. We'll see. He's definitely Dynamax and T-Tar right here. There's no reason he don't. Um, and he probably has Max Quake, so he doesn't. Dynamax. Probably goes for Max Rockfall. We are minus two special attack now. Or attack. We get Earthquake off. Rip here gets a Drag Dance off. For a hydro pump or the Rhyperior and Earthquake again. Probably should have switched out with Drake as well. Three st stats. But uh, I don't think it really matters at the point. Yeah, because he's going to die max. Yeah, so this is a probably game. Yeah, I don't think the Parasong would help. I think his uh, T Tar can just wipe my team at this point. Plus I need to get him down to two mons to successfully pair some. Yeah. That's game. Cause that max darkness is gonna take out my uh my uh bronzo uh good game gavin uh i really think your team's gonna do well this year um maybe i shouldn't have been you know cute and tried to run a trick room team <laughs> maybe the sand rush team would have done fine because i would have out sped right you there i think unless He's choice, uh, what's it called? Choice score. Um, I guess we can protect here. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna be slower than Corviknight, anyways. So, yeah, Max Darkness and the Bronze on to take him out. He's plus three. That, like, five turns of sleep really hurt me. And yeah, roost. So, yep.
Good game, Gavin. No point in finishing it up. I mean, yeah, I'm minus four. And uh, Gavin goes to one to know. Um, play Josh next week. So I don't know when we're going to do that because me and Josh are going on vacation. Uh, we're actually leaving tonight, later on tonight. And we're going to the beach. His family, my family. So we'll probably just do it when we come back uh, that Tuesday or Wednesday. But uh, thanks for stopping by, guys, and uh, I'll get this uploaded. And see you guys soon. Bye.